Continuing on with my short series on the new features added into Bricks 2.1 beta, still a beta, we're going to take a look at the new option for handling registrations. This gives us a little bit more granular control over how registrations are handled and gives us a little bit more additional security. Now, if you don't know, when it comes to Bricks Builder, you can create your own custom login, registration, forgotten password, and so on pages, so you can get control over that entire process. Up until now, it wasn't easy or integrated directly into Bricks to handle the control of spam and fake accounts being signed up for. Now, with this new option, we have a little bit more control over it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I I've already created a basic registration form. I've used the normal Bricks form element. I've set up your name, email, and password, and all the relevant things are here. We set the action up to be user registration, and if we take a look inside here, I've already gone and mapped everything together. I would probably increase the password strength a little bit. When I set up your first name and so on, you can handle all that. And you also notice there's an auto login user. We'll come back to that in a moment. This is the standard way in which you would set all of this up. Until previously, like I said, we didn't have much control. Now, if we hop over into the settings section, come into general and scroll down, you'll see we have a new option inside you that handles user activation. So when someone registers, this user activation will then take control. It is worth bearing in mind that this user activation is across all WordPress activation. So no matter how someone signs up, they will still go through this process. So they don't use the registration form here. You have multiple different ways in people register on your site, not recommended, but you may have. Everybody will still go through the same process. So once we enable this option, you'll see we've got some more options available to us. Auto login after activation. So this is the difference between the standard registration option we just saw and the auto login after activation. They have to be verified before they can actually log in. And the verification is handled via the email. So anytime you've signed up on a website, you'll get an email sent out to you that says, click this link to confirm, blah, 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 blah. This is what it's going to do here. And then depending upon whether it's successful or fails, we'll control where you are redirected to afterwards. So you can see we've got this verification success and failure pages. So you can set up two separate pages with your own custom messages on there. And then if they're successful, you can go to that relevant page. In my example, it's called verification success. And if it fails, it goes to verification failure. Simple as that. Auto login after activation is something I would generally recommend. It's a smoother experience to people. They don't have to have another step. So we'll say, yes, we want that. So there's the first part. You'll notice now that we also get this user activation email set up. This allows us now to customize the email that they'll get sent out. We've got a pile of short codes we can use here to customize this. So for example, you can see we've got our from email address. You can pop whatever you think is relevant inside there. You may have a different one to what you've got set up as your kind of default email address on your WordPress account. Set up what you want inside there. Same for the from name. Your subject, that's for you what you're putting in there. You can personalize this so you could easily say, hey, drop the little short code in and then activate your account. So that'll personalize it based upon the username they may supply if you've got that inside your registration form. And the same thing then goes for the email content underneath. You can drop in any information you want. You can see you've got activation link and activation URL. So if you don't use this basic placeholder, make sure you include those options inside there and customize it to whatever you want. A nice personal message could be pretty cool, depending upon the kind of sign up or registration you've got available. Then if you want to have HTML, you can choose this option to ensure that any kind of formatting you include that'll work inside an email will be transferred transitioned over, as simple as that. So once you've gone through and set all those up, that now enables the user activation process site-wide. So we'll save this, jump back over into our registration page, we'll come down to our user registration, and we scroll down now, we no longer have that option to redirect and log the user in. That's handled with the activation settings in the global settings for Bricks Builder. Now, if we go into the users list inside your website, you'll notice we have a new section at the end, a new column, which says activation status 
bricks, and it tells us these are active. So providing they've been confirmed and everything has worked correctly, they will be marked as active. If for any reason they haven't been activated, it will show inactive. And obviously you can mark these as inactive should you want to as well. So you've got everything you need now to be able to handle those registrations, to have an email to confirm that everything is in place, and it's a real user, not a spam fake sign up with a pile of junk. Is it gonna get rid of everything? No, but it is one step closer to handling those fake signups with fake spam emails. At least they've gotta be confirmed before they can access your site. So pretty useful, a nice little feature, and very, very simple to implement. Once it's set up, you can set it and basically forget it. Now, if you want to check out the other videos in this series or my overview of the update of Beta 2.1 in Bricks, you can check out the playlist here or the links down in the description down below. Got any comments or questions or feedback? Drop those in the comment section. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.